wrong because you wouldn't be paying attention. So for all of you, please pay attention to this because it's the most common mistake that I see. Yes. What that problem is? Absolutely. So please pay attention because this is the most common mistake I get from students. We have log base 6 of 2c plus log base 6 of 8 equals log base 6 of 80. So it's asking us to solve. Now, I just spent 15 minutes showing you guys the properties of logarithms, right? You're going to want to remember those properties of logarithms. But the main important thing that students say, last class period, I taught you guys the equality of logarithms, right? If you have a log equal to a log, you just eliminate them, right? And guess what? Everybody remembers those. So they say, oh, logs on both sides. Cancel them out. No, that doesn't work like that. You, to apply the property of logarithms, you have to have one logarithm equal to another logarithm. We don't have that case right now, do we? We have a logarithm plus another logarithm. However, when you have the addition of logarithms, can we apply the, log the property of logarithms, the product property? Yes. So therefore, this equals log base 6 of 2c times 8 equals log base 6 of 80. Right? This is what we did. If you have a log plus another log, same base, we can write them as the product of one logarithm. Right? So therefore, this equals log base 6 of 16c equals log base 6 of 80. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a log equal to another log, same base, 16c equals 80. So now, we can solve for this, right? Divide by 16. C is going to equal 5. And there you go. Ta-da. Oh, it's easy now. Okay.